guys, it's me, Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. Hope you guys are all doing great and amazing and are staying safe. So since we've been stuck at the house, I've been doing a lot of cleaning and organizing. And one spot that's really been bothering me is the kitchen pantry. So we're gonna organize and clean that today. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it from start to finish. So this is the before. We recently moved in and we kind of just threw everything in here. It's complete disaster. I don't even know what's in here anymore. I think I've been buying the same things that I already have in here and it has just gotten out of hand. But I am so super excited to organize this and declutter everything. First I'm going to do is clear out everything so I can see everything that I have and categorize it too. I'm also going to check the expiration date and toss out anything that has expired or that is old. So how is everybody doing out there? You guys, I haven't been to a store since March 4th and you guys know I am known for my shop with me videos at Walmart, Target, and a Dollar Tree and I am itching to go. But I am asthmatic and I know it's not safe for me to go out there now, but once everything starts to come down and it is safe for me to go shopping, I will be making more shop with me videos. So this is what it looks like after I took everything out. Now I'm gonna quickly clean up the shelves. I'm not gonna clean up the floor because I did clean it up before I put the waters in there. So that's all set to go, but I'm definitely gonna clean the shelves. Here I'm using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in the Honeysuckle scent. And I love using this to clean and it smells amazing, you guys. Look how dirty these shelves were. It was so gross, but I'm so happy I got it cleaned. So I threw away a lot of stuff that was expired or that was old. And I also threw away the boxes that were empty in there. I had like three empty boxes in there that was taking up a lot of space. But here's what I have right now on the counter. I kind of categorized everything into their own little section. So over here we have like all the breakfast stuff, the oatmeal and cereal and granola. Here we have all the crackers. Here we have like all the snacks of like granola bars, popcorn. And over here we have the croissants, the non bread, and then tortillas over here. And in this section over here we have all the rice and we have potatoes, quinoa, pasta, which I'm probably not gonna keep there, and then some croutons. And then over here we have all the bacon stuff and then we have like the cookies here too. And then this section over here is all the chips. So here are the bins that I'm gonna be using to organize my pantry. They all actually came from the Dollar Tree. I got three of the large bins over here, and then I got four locker bins, which I really like. I also got four of these bins too, and then I got two of these circular bins as well. I also have these clear containers too. I actually got this for Christmas and I bought this at Ikea. I believe they were $1.97, but if I have room in a pantry, I'm also gonna to try to use these too. Now I'm going to arrange all the containers to see how they fit and look inside the pantry. And this is what the pantry looked like after I was done arranging all the bins. Next, I'm going to put everything in their baskets and use chip clips for any open bags. I 
I started to take items out of the boxes, which created more space in the bins. I know a lot of us are home right now. Are there any unfinished projects around your home that you started but you just never finished? If you have any extra time, this is a perfect time to get stuff done around your house. I'm using this time to spring clean, organize, and maybe start a painting or two. I haven't painted in a couple years and now I have the time to do it, which I'm so super excited about. Now I am putting all of my baking supplies in one basket and all I'll need to do is take out this basket whenever I want to bake, which will be super easy. Now I am pouring all the plain oatmeal into this clear container. That way it will be easy for me to see when we are running low on oatmeal. The kids love eating this in the morning. And I am using a chalk marker to write on the expiration date. And I am also doing the same thing with the cereals. So these are the items I'm going to be using to label everything. I'm going to be using these chalk tags here that I got from Michael's to label the baskets with the hole in them. And then I'm going to use this chalk pen to write everything on them. And then for the locker bins, I'm going to be using these clear labels and I'm going to be using this Sharpie marker pen to write everything on it. This was my favorite part, writing all the food items on the labels. I got a lot of my items from Amazon. I'll link these in the description box below in case you guys are interested. So I took a little break and went for a family walk and I also needed the markers to dry too. I didn't want to smudge any of this stuff, but now that it's dry, we're ready to go put these on the baskets. This is the fun part, you guys. I love using chalk labels. They are super easy to change or erase. All I need is a wet damp cloth to wipe off the writing as their needs change.
So here is the final, you guys. I'm so super happy how everything turned out. So this is what the pantry looks like. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have in each bin because I love looking at other people's bins too. A look at this big pile of boxes that I have here. I actually took a lot of this stuff out of the boxes because it was taking up a lot of space. And this is actually easier for the kids to just grab and go. So I'm gonna start with the top shelf first. Over to the right, we have all the cereals that we haven't opened yet. And then we have some napkins. And then these are the cereals that we're currently using and some oatmeal. And down here in this basket, we have all the chips that we're currently eating. And then we have all the bread stuff here. We have tortillas and croissants. And over here we have all the crackers, we have cheeses, we have a lot of the saltine crackers and Ritz crackers in here. I love the way how these labels came out over here in the locker bins. But over here we have all the adult snacks, we have like protein bars in here. And then in here we have all the oatmeal, the little oatmeal and the little packets that we always use for the kids. And in this bin over here we have granola for yogurt. And over here we have all the baking goods like sugar, chocolate chips, some more chocolate chip cookie. And over here we have all the rice. We have like a lot of different types of rice. We have white rice, brown rice. We have um, some croutons in there, some quinoa. And over here we have all the kids snack. We have popcorn, granola bars, and organic fruit snacks. And this bin is also at their height level, so they're able to get it easily. And in this bin over here, we have all the sweets like cookies and candy. And then on the last shelf, we have all the paper goods, like cups and paper plates and lunch stuff. And then over here, we have all the items that we haven't opened yet, kind of like my overflow item. And then over here is where I have all the potatoes. And I still kept our waters down below because it's the best place to put the water at in our house and also it's easy access. So it's not in the way of anything and I think it's perfect down here. Well, that is it. I love the way this pantry turned out. I'm so super excited about it. Hope this video gave you guys some motivation to organize and clean out your pantry or a spot in your home. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe, you guys. It is totally free to do so, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!